Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be going through the treasure hunt which is a brand new feature in Forza Horizon 5. Now today I'm going to be going into this in depth but make sure you stick around because tomorrow I'm going to release a video where I'm going to discuss all of the festival playlist events in, in depth. I know there's some new ones and some returning ones with some tweaks so I'm going to go through everything and explain tomorrow how you can get 100% completion in the festival playlist. But today we're going to be going through the new feature which is the treasure hunt now this is basically a two-part challenge and it tells you pretty much what you have to do uh, for the first part but then you have to go and find the actual chest itself and in today's scenario you end up with 50,000 credits reward so this one is called new heights and first of all it wants you to use the 2020 Chevy uh, stingray to firstly get two stars on the heights of Mulige uh, danger sign so that's really easy so this is the car in question now this is one that everyone gets at the beginning of the game i have not tuned it or tweaked it it's more than capable on its own of getting a minimum of two stars on this danger sign that's only 400 feet so it's really easy to do now you want to start off basically by the highway here and you'll see a sort of direct path leading up to the danger sign just gun it from there uh, and as you can see here, you will end up with more than 400 feet, so you'll get your two stars. That's really easy. Now comes the second part. So once the jump has been completed, it will show you on the map this sort of orangey pink circle. Now within this, you need to find the actual treasure hunt box itself or the chest, if you will. So this is very similar to the Fortune Island DLC on Horizon 4. Now, when I first turned up, I was didn't really have a clue as to what I was looking for. Um, I didn't actually drive around for a while. I got the drone out and explored the whole area, as it seemed a lot quicker. And then I found the actual treasure chest itself, which was located by what looks like some big white sort of tents, um, agricultural things. And then when you get near it, it sort of blends in quite well with the environment. But you'll see it as pretty much the exact same treasure chest that was in Fortune Island there. So once you've approached it, all you need to do is drive into it and smash it, and then you will unlock your 50,000 credits. The challenge will be complete, so you'll get an extra couple of points towards the overall festival playlist, and some accolade points as well, as well as a new catchphrase, which is neither here nor there, but it's a really easy 50,000 credits. Now, this isn't something that will be repeated every week in the festival playlist. It looks like you'll probably get two each month, maybe one and as it progresses the guys at playground uh, playground games said that they will eventually get harder and harder so if you need me to i will continue doing these guides as well as the usual forzathon and festival playlist photo challenge ones as well if you're still struggling with anything just let me know down below in the comments and i will help you out to the best of my ability if this did help you out though i would very much appreciate if you could subscribe and drop a like don't forget as well you can join our forza horizon 5 club and you can follow us on twitter as well all the links are in the description below anyway folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care